Hello YouTube, I just went to a yard sale and I just picked up a whole bag of 1978 tops of baseball cards that are 36 years old, I believe they are, or 38. Um, that'd be 78, 88, 88, 98, 08. Yeah, these are 38 years old, almost 40 years old, so that's killer. Um, of these baseball cards, I paid five bucks for this whole bag for five dollars at a, um, at a, um, what should we call it, at a yard sale. It was more like a flea market, though, than a yard sale, I'll have to say, but it would feel like more yard sale, that's what I'm saying, yard sale, though. But, let's say flea market, because... That's where I kind of pick these up at the market. This is like a yard sale. It's the same as that, though. But for five bucks, I got all these cards. Some older guy was selling these baseball cards. He added some from probably 1986 all the way up to 1990. Uh, these were all his oldest ones he had. I'm like, I was going through them, make sure there's no commons or anything. And there wasn't. So I picked them all up for five bucks. Um, can't go wrong because I didn't have any of these, and the ones I did show you guys, I have them on um, Hall of Famer cards. That's what I went after. But for five dollars for a big stack like that, you can't go wrong. So I'm gonna go through these and see if there's any good cards in here. And some of these cards are actually in pretty decent shape. So I'm gonna start up with the first one. Uh, Mike Lou, uh, Rick Lordford. I'm not gonna read all these names though. But I'm just gonna go through these for five dollars. You can't go wrong, you know. Tony Scott, is that guy in the Hall of Fame? No, that was, that was the other dude I'm thinking of. Oh, that guy looked like, uh, for a minute, I thought that was Lou Brock. My bad. Oh, man, a lot of comments, though. But I don't have them, so pretty cool. For $5. For 5 bucks at a yard sale, or like, flea market. It was more a yard sale at the minute. It's not, it wasn't a flea market, it was just a yard sale. Um, so I'm not going to complain about that. And some of these cards are actually in really decent shape. Crew... Um, the New York Yankees actually did win the World Series this year, so this guy got a World Series ring. Bob Watson. I did see, um, did I pass it? I think I did it. I did see Ron, or Rondo or something, I forgot the name though. But he put up, he put over 500, um, I think 500 numbers on the back. 500 numbers for, um, at bat. I think his name's in here though, but... For five bucks, though, you can't go wrong. This is gonna go out of shape real quick. I think I have more of a hundred cards, probably. For five dollars. There he is. Uh, Len Rundle. Um, I'm trying to flip it here. Sorry about that. Let me just this real quick. Just scoot this thing over. Um, on the back of here, he put up 500, where it says, hold up, let me just set that there. So, 520, 200, like, at bat, he put up over 500, and, uh, in 1975, 4, 74, 75, 76, 77, he put up over 500, um, I think, I believe, score points, or points? I don't know what that means, though, but I see that on a lot of Hall of Famer cards, and I really don't know what it means, I think it's at bat. Uh, this guy didn't put up that many. I don't know who that guy is, though. Pat Rocket. Uh, Bill Hunter. Another World Series winner from that year. Uh, Jordan Joy, or Joe, Necro. Uh, his brother, Phil Necro, is in the Hall of Fame. Um, so that's really cool. So I don't, I don't expect any Hall of Famers of those guys. But got 1978 Tops baseball cards out of flea market for five bucks. Came in that bag. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. So you know there's well, well more than five dollars here. I don't know. If you think about it. When's the last time you paid five bucks for 1978 baseball cards? You get like over a hundred something. I I think I have that one. I think I might have this. I think I might have that one. I think that's the only one I might have. But my other one's in really shit. I think I might have that one. Um. Oh. I thought I thought that was Tom Seaver, the New York Yankee had and. But it's not though, because Tom Seaver played with the Yankees in 1976, so it can't be him. Man, some of these cards are in really good shape. Well, not anymore. I didn't fucking wreck them. 
trying to hurry up here. I'm not trying to make the video that long, guys. Oh, crap, there goes my pile. Uh, Tony, Tom Hunton, Mike Ivan, Jeff Newman, Skip Jones. Some of these cards are in really good shape. Jose, he's like the most kind player. I'll just show you guys the name real quick. I think I also have that one. I believe I have that one also. But for five bucks, though, you can't get wrong. So, oh, what's that guy? I showed you that card last, guys. George Foster? No. That was George Foster. All right. So there's my 78s uh, for five bucks. Didn't have any of those. I think only thing I, I had two cards in there probably, probably two. Um, was who's this one? Um, Vern Rappy. Rappy. So. There's $5 1978 uh, cards I, I didn't have. I think I only had two. I, I would take it back. I had two, but I think I didn't have all of them. Um, but that's my 78 set. I might start. I used to have it. I think I used to have the 78 set. I got rid of it, but I should have kept it. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching this video. Leave a like down below if you think it was good for five bucks. Um, I don't know, five bucks for old 1978 baseball cards. Uh, it's kind of, it was kind of risky though. But I didn't have them. I would have paid like a dollar a piece for these off eBay, probably 75 cents each. Think about it. Um, probably like, not even that. Probably 50 cents a piece. But so I think I got a good deal um, for five dollars. It's probably worth it to me. It was. So thank you for watching. Leave a like down below. Share the video if you want to share it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And thank you for watching my video. Goodbye.